guys, welcome to today's video. Today I have a tutorial for you for Halloween. This will probably be my last one. Hopefully I'll be able to film a, a vampire tutorial tomorrow, but tomorrow is the day of Halloween so it will be very very tight if I do, but hopefully I do because it's a tutorial that I really want. So this video is actually going to be showing you how to create a joker face. i done a half joker before myself, but this is going to be a full one and I actually filmed this on someone else because I did makeup for a film a while ago and this is one of the makeup I had to do for it so it's not even the best filmed video either because it's also on my iPhone I actually have my camera back now so I'll be having camera filmed videos but you just have to put up so with this for video now. is also linked with another YouTuber and she's new here to YouTube her name is Sonia and her YouTube channel is called Sass Nail and Beauty so I'll link that in the description and for this kind of link we did of this tutorial she did a Cheshire cat uh, look so it's kind of both slits of the mouth so it's kind of like two different methods to do it so i'll link that down below and please check that out and like her video and it'll be good to subscribe to her as well to give us some support so if this is something that interests you please keep on watching also the picture that i'll show of her look is actually just a practice picture when she was trying it out so as i'm speaking filming this now she's actually filming her tutorial so it will be both sides of her mouth just to let you know So first off, start by applying a black face paint to the entire eye area. I'm just going to start mapping out the shape before we apply the black, the white face paint to the entire face. I'm also going to take this under the eye to make it as black as possible. And I'm also getting her to crease up her eye and applying the black face paint to get some creases as well. So I'm going to set all the black with a black eyeshadow just so it doesn't budge anywhere during the wearing the makeup. I'm also going to set under her eye as well to make it as black as possible. So now I'm taking a Q-tip and a black face paint and going under the eye just to make it as, just to reach the places we miss. And as you can see, I've also changed the shape a little bit with the face paint. Now, beginning with the slits, we're going to apply some latex to the area you want the slits to be. You could also use eyelash glue; it works exactly the same if you don't have latex. So I'm just applying that with a sponge and applying a piece of tissue that I've torn up. If it's too fine, make sure to split it because you don't want it to be thick. So a brush is actually a lot easier to use, but make sure it's a brush you don't mind ruining because it will get wrecked after the latex. So I'm just going to keep layering latex and tissue. I did about four layers of tissue to get the effect that I wanted. And you need to make sure that your edges are flat down. Just keep adding latex to flatten them down. So next, as you can see, I've applied white face paint and I'm just changing that shape of the black eye just to make it a bit more messy and just go crazy. You drag it up, drag it down, just how you want it to be. So now I'm going to start by splitting that mouth open and I'm just going to use a dotting tool. You could use a wooden stick, anything that you have. And you just want to take it in the corner of the mouth to separate the skin and the tissue. And I'm going to use nail scissors to slowly cut along it. You want to take your time with this and be really careful because you don't want to end up being an actual joker and slitting your mouth because I don't think your parents would be very happy with you. So just make sure you be really careful with this step and just take your time and you can use any long thing you have like a stick or like I'm using a dotting tool. And nail scissors probably work the best because they're small and you can get in there easy. So now I'm just powdering the white face paint i'm using tag and powder you can use translucent powder white eyeshadow anything you have just go for it and just live life <laughs> now i'm filling in the gaps of the slits with a red face paint you can also take this onto the lips and take it a bit out because you of the cups so you want it to be really messy so i'm going to take a wet q-tip and just distress some of the makeup because the joker's makeup is not perfect at all so you can just be really messy the great thing about this makeup is that you can, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake because it will just add to the look. Just go really messy and don't really be neat with it. So I'm next going to contour the face of the black eyeshadow. So that's in the cheekbones, the temples and the jawline to add some depth to the white. So finally I'm taking some fake gel blood and applying that with a 
q-tip and just put it in the wound and outside and everywhere again be really messy and here is your final look thanks guys for watching this video and i really hope you enjoyed and hopefully support me by giving a like and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to check out sanya's uh, tutorial as well and that would be really helpful so thank you so much for watching bye